Look, I don't want you to lie to me. What's the last movie that made you cry? Or show? Like the dick cry? I'm not talking like La La Land cry, which was just like, holy shit, I can't even contain emotions in yeah. me. I'm talking like a little tear dropped out or you maybe you got a little lip quiver or, or you had to you yeah. know, kind of swallow back a little. The last one was Paddington 2, dude. Paddington 2? I'm not even kidding. That the end. effects of Paddington, continue, the ripple effects yeah, of Paddington? That ending it was touching. Yeah, it was a little toucher, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully not of the Brian Singer variety, no. but it was... Uh, Quite uh, a touching movie. Yes, I'll grant you that. And I'm, it's manly of you to admit it, as most people would not. Yeah. I I'm say also, all that to say this. I'm not a big tearer, so it was kind of an achievement. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now, I, I cry a lot during movies. Yeah, you do. Because... You cried during The Predator. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cried when the effects showed up. Yeah. Like, man, the effects are bad. But anyway, I do cry a lot during movies. I mean, not everyone, obviously, but if they're an emotional movie and I get involved in it, I'll cry. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? I let myself get swept up into the scenario is what I'm saying here. Because it just improves the experience for me, honestly. But sometimes I cry for fucking weird reasons. Mm. Like Lord of the Rings made me cry. Because I was like, holy shit, this thing is happening in front of my face. You're like, Gollum. Yeah, I, was, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my nerd eyes. So that made me cry for that reason. But you gotta say, that's pretty good. And, of course, La La Land, I think, is the one that broke us. Yeah, that was bad. And we were like, whoosh. You tried, too. I was crying from 30 minutes before the movie ended. Yeah. And it only got fucking worse. Not yeah. the movie, but the fact that I was crying. I was yeah. like, I cannot contain these tears. That end. And you, you held on somehow. I saw you, though. I'm not going to lie. I saw you trying to hold back. I saw a little quiver, the, the clenching of the jaw, etc. There was some old freaking hag in front of us. I was like, damn, dude, I got to hold it until the hag is gone. I'm also not a crier. I don't want to break the streak. Yeah, once that, the, there was just a point, though. Yeah. That you just could not, and it just, boof. It, it, it bowled you over, kicked you in the nuts. Not proud of that, but... Uh, I mean, I would be proud of it, because the movie did its, it, what, it, what it set out to do. True that. So, that's awesome. But recently, I have to admit that I cried again, and that was to Les Miserables. Now, I've been holding off seeing this movie for a long time. It came out in 2012. Obviously, I was locked up, mm -hmm. but I, I've been out for three years, and I still hadn't seen it. Les Miserables. Now, Les Miserables, if you're not aware, is a, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> Les Miserables, if you're not aware, is, is one of the most legendary Broadway plays <clears throat> based on one of the most legendary pieces of literature ever by Victor Hugo of the same name, Les Miserables. And I saw the Broadway, the traveling Broadway show... You know, Broadway cast. Before that cast, taking it onto the died. Road. Yeah, they're Food all poisoning. Dead. Um, I saw the traveling Broadway show back in the early 2000s, and I was fucking floored, dude. It, it's to date one of the most, if not the most, fulfilling entertainment experiences of my life. It is fucking amazing, dude. And I'm not even kidding. If this thing ever comes back in town, it's worth the hundred bucks to go see it. You know what I'm saying? To get a good seat. You know, it's fucking worth it. I can't even stress that enough. If it's coming to your town, go see Les Miserables. M mind you, if it's the traveling Broadway show, you don't want to see some fucking uh, community theater yeah. <laughs> version of it. But, you know, if it's... It, holy shit, this fucking thing is one of the greatest things ever committed to stage. But, I mean, stage plays, Broadway plays, musicals and stuff like that are common. They're usually big, lavish productions. It's not so much the productions, which is impressive as fuck, by the way. Uh, it's more the emotional thrust of the story. The story is so fucking good, and there's so many characters and so rich, and it has so much to say. Yes, there's social commentary in the story. You know, it has a lot to say about uh, how mercy can go a long way in society, how the rich don't always have to be on top, and how a little bit of charity can help. But mostly the movie is about redemption, about forgiveness, and about learning to live with that you know versus one person that can uh be emp empathetic and another person that can't because of the system and that alone is, is like one of the truest conditions of humankind right so it's got all this emotional heft behind it and on top of that the production value so when i fucking pop this is a long ass movie by the way it's like fucking three hours long yeah and i pop that sucker in one minute in i'm fucking crying <laughs> not because of the emotional factor because i'm seeing 
the stage play times 10 because of the visuals. But obviously, you, you can do a lot more on the screen in front of me. Then when I hear a familiar song, I'm like, well, yeah, it <laughs> makes no fucking sense. But we here's need a, like a freaking cry cam whenever we Yeah, do dude, you should have seen I was seeing it in bed because I was seeing it in the computer. Mm. And I was like, well, you know what I'm saying? And then there's so many tragic characters in this, like Anne Hathaway's character. Uh, um, uh, it's, it's just, I mean, fuck, she's dead within the first third of the movie. Spoiler. And uh, fuck, man. I was like, you know, just crying. But, dude, there's so many cry moments in this, personally for me. Yeah. But the ending is as fucking powerful as it was on stage, maybe even more because you can actually see the people emote on the screen and all that stuff. But there's basically the story that even though there's so many characters, it centers around two people, and that's Jean Valjean, who is a ex an ex criminal, which now I can now relate to a lot more, that was given an opportunity to be a good man, and he took it, and he was merciful and charitable to people, and he made a life out of that. But he has been forever pursued by the man that was once his prison guard in this guy called Javert, who is gone up in rank since then to a military man, to a policeman, etc. And he's been pursued his entire life by this one character. And Jean Valjean has an open mind and a good heart, and he's a good man, whereas Javert is not necessarily a bad man. He's a man that is ruled by the idea, by society. Hate. Of, yeah. or, not so much hate, he is determined to capture him, but it's not hatred. It's more that he, his idea of justice is decided by what society thinks mm. justice is. So he sees a criminal as a criminal forever. Yeah. He cannot forgive the idea that someone is a criminal because he is such a black and white character. And there is this moment in the movie, without ruining too much, where Javert realizes the reality behind everything. And, you know, I mean, you've seen the scene. Spoiler for anyone who hasn't seen it. He kills himself. Have I seen this scene? Uh, yeah, I remember. He jumps off the bridge and has that weird <laughs> fucking oh, sound. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, this scene is depicted in the stage play as well. In an amazing way where it looks like he's fucking falling. Even though he's just on the ground doing this. It's fucking awesome. But anyway. Uh, that scene is, is, is impacting because of the realizations that Javert comes to. But it's the scene at the end with Jean Valjean. And, uh, you know, his character arc. Dude, I was... Oh, fuck, dude. It's when you see a truly virtuous character. You know, like a good, morally upright character. A good person. I don't know if you've ever come across a legitimately good person. But they will change your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? You'll realize how little you've done in front of... When you're faced with somebody that's actually good. Now, just imagine that in front of you for fucking like three hours. This is a legitimately good person that has changed as... That has gotten somewhere good and done something good and is selfless and it just fucking destroyed me man i could not stop fucking crying what was that pa that paddington effect hey, dude times 10 <laughs> paddington times ten thousand. uh he's just that fucking character jean Valjean is just that type of character would you say he's the paddington of lemons he's the paddington of musicals for sure uh, although I guess Paddington's a musical in some senses, right? Yeah. But the point is, yeah, man, uh, Les Miserables was totally fucking worth the wait. I'm not going to be ashamed to say that I cried. Um, uh, cried like a fucking baby, dude. Little baby, all fucking crying and shit. Jean Valjean's my boy. Yeah. I can tell you the first movie I cried to. Which one? <laughs> now, given my, my, uh, my reputation as a hardened movie watcher... Which just I just made that up by the way, um, is gonna come off as kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. But it was Terminator Two. I cried to that too, man. The little thumbs up, dude. The little the thumbs little up. The little goodbye. The little goodbye. Now, I do think that there, there's one thing I'm gonna give you some thoughts on 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 it mm -hmm. because I think that it's more effective in the theatrical cut because they took out the technical reason for his learning. You know, mm -hmm. well, with the chip having that thing in that they removed. So it's more effective in that sense. So I get why they removed it off the theatrical. But at the, as a kid, I didn't even think of that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, like, oh man, this little robot. Yeah. Learned to love. And now he's all dead and shit. It's not good. 
Yeah, man. I, I gotta admit, that was that was I mean one of my first too. I mean I was a kid when that movie came out. What fucking like nine years old or some shit. And that was one of the first movies I saw theatrically. I think the first movie I saw theatrically actually. Unless Jurassic Park predates it. I always forget which one predates which. But the point is I think it's T2. I'm there. I'm there with you, man. Cried a little tear. Yeah, man. I do it all the time, but sometimes it just gets me in the foot. La La Land was one of those just woo. Woo! Woo! Those old folk were like, at least homos up there. Yeah. <laughs> and Les Miserables is another one. Uh, again, I mean, I, don't, I, I want you to see it um, without any, you know, bias either way. You might experience it in a completely different way. But, you know, I definitely want you to see the stage play. God, I hope it comes back somewhere near us because that is one thing that, fuck, man, it's fucking badass, dude. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't believe my fucking eyeballs. There was a whole war on stage at one point, man. So what I'm saying here, and that guy that looked like fucking Bruce Campbell, which I know he's not even in the yeah. fucking cast anymore. But the point is, uh, what movie made you cry? Feel free to admit it here. We won't judge. Maybe we'll, we'll make fun of you a little bit. But yeah. really, I just want to see another movie. Especially if it's cry. Paddington. Paddington. It's my bear boy. Dude, Paddington too. And it, was like, it wasn't even like a sadness cry. It was that man, a little bear got what he wanted. Cry, that little bear got what you heard here first. Hashtag bears get what they want. Yeah, <laughs> sexually that It'll is make you cry. Anyway, let us know what fucking movie uh, made you cry, and uh, was it Devil's Rejects? I don't know why. That's... <laughs> uh, hit like, share, subscribe, those notification buttons because we are up.